Following civilians in Israel, President Biden responded with an angry condemnation the pure, unadulterated evil, Hamas terrorists and a promise unwavering U.S. support for Israelis. This was a stark reminder of the demands on U.S. leadership in times of worldwide crisis. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, warring Republicans were having trouble choosing a speaker. The chaos came more than a week after the same Republicans impeached Rep. Kevin McCarthy. At a time of crisis abroad and unmet responsibilities at home, Republican infighting has kept Congress inactive for a second week. The United States, as others abroad see, is a country grappling with its own demons. Introspective and caught up in insularity at a time when the world is becoming more dangerous. As a result, the country's situation is precarious as we enter an election year where the stakes are higher than they have been in a very long time. Biden's assurance of support for Israel reflected kind of leadership the United States has been expected to provide around world for generations. The ongoing turmoil in the House of Representatives is a testament to how badly the Republican Party under former President Donald Trump has changed politics. The party's broader disagreements over country's future are the rule, not exception. As a result, Americans are caught up in divisions between major parties, red and blue states, regions, and individuals with opposing ideologies. After the horrific attacks last Saturday, Biden had no choice but to do what he did. Despite differences with Israel over its treatment of Palestinians, the United States has historically been Israel's staunchest friend and staunchest ally. And Israel has been the United States' most important ally in the Middle East Israel's right wing. Government is trying to undermine the country's democracy. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's pursuit of such policies has caused a huge public outcry. Sometimes friends, sometimes enemies. Biden and Netanyahu found themselves at a moment when these differences had to be put aside in face of the worst attack on Jews since Holocaust and Israel was preparing for a dangerous attack that would begin in 2007 openly expressed intent to eliminate Hamas as a threat. Biden made clear that the United States will stand with Israel as a bulwark against such horrific acts by Hamas. He promised kind of support that would help protect the country, rescue hostages Hamas had taken in attacks, including Americans, and wage war. U.S. officials also continue emphasize to Israeli leaders that the upcoming military offensive must be carried out within the bounds of international law prevent excessive civilian casualties and suffering in Gaza. From World War II to the present day, decisive U.S. leadership has been vital in almost every conflict, hot or cold, between democracy and authoritarianism. After Cold War ended, the United States operated as world's only true superpower. This stance has been challenged by